we have this open rectangular box. And notice it is made from a piece of metal that's 16 by 30 inches by cutting out squares of equal size from the corners. So we have this shape of this box, which is like, this is 30 by 16. And then we cut out a little X by X from each corner. And those are squares, of course, X by X. And then it gets folded up. So that dotted is the base. So these sides here get folded up. These are cut and removed. And then it gets folded up. So notice that I would have a shape that looks, it's going to be open in the top. Looks something like that. And now if you think about the, we're trying to maximize the volume, right? So really we're, we're going to want to take the derivative of the vol volume relative to x. Because the question is how big should these squares be to maximize the volume? We take that derivative, set it equal to zero, that'll give us that extreme. So if we think about this, boy, this picture's crazy. But notice that like this whole side is 30 and we took an x off here and we took an x off here. So this side should be 30 minus x. This whole side 16, take an x off there, it takes an x off here. This should be 16 minus, oh, 30 minus 2x, sorry about that. 16 minus 2x. And then the height, since these fold up, is x. So the volume of this box would be x times 16 minus 2x times 30 minus 2x. So we can multiply this all out and we end up with 4x cubed minus 92x plus 480x. That's the volume. Now we want to maximize that volume. So we are going to um, take the derivative of this relative to x. And so if I take that derivative, I get 12x squared, uh, that should be a squared, minus 92, nope, Bring down the 92, 184x plus 480. And again, I'm going to set that equal to zero because that's the derivative. I want to know when it either bottoms out or maxes out. I'm, I'm maximizing it, so hopefully it's this case. Uh, I'm going to just run that through quadratic formula, and I get x could be 12 or 3.3. And if I go back to my picture... X being 12 is ridiculous. If I, if I cut out 12 in this direction and 12 in this direction, I'm, I'm overlapping. I don't have anything left to fold up. So I'm going to throw that out. So that side length would be, and it's 3.3 repeating, three and, three and a third.